I remember the time when we filed for the Form I-130 and the Form I-485 concurrent filing, and this has helped us with our process and we do it DIY. If you wanted to know more about this, let's dive in and let the journey begin. <music> Good day. Welcome to Powerful Couple Journey, where we talk about immigration processes, especially when it comes to marriage-based green card and getting your J-1 waiver successfully. This time, we are going to dive deep with the Form I-130, concurrent filing with the Form I-485. Why is this very important? Let's just say you got married to your U.S. citizen spouse and I'm just going to put my shoes where you are a J1 teacher with 212 e rule. Set that aside for a while because it's going to be a different pattern. But you have to make sure that you are ready to submit your Form I-130. It is the petition for alien relative and that is very important for you to get your green card which is in the form I-485 through the USCIS. Now, if you are a K-1 visa, it is very simple. All you need to do is to get married prior to the 90 days and I-130 and I-485 is what you're going to be submitting as well with the medical records, support of your spouse, financial support, and the additional information which is the form I-130. However, Again, I put my shoes in this one. This is what I did. File first the Form I-130 online. You can ask your husband for that. Read the instructions from the USCIS.gov. Google that one and you will know the step-by-step -step process. If you are confused, look at some of the videos I have here because I have put how is the process for the Form I-130 and the Form I-485. Now, concurrent filing, you need to make sure that if you are on your second year as a J-1 teacher, then submit. If you are on your fourth year as a J-1 teacher, then you have to submit that one because you're already extended with your stay here in the U.S. through your DS 2019. The Form I-130 has nothing to do with your J-1 waiver. It is separate. We only have to get the J-1 waiver because we have the 212E rule home residency requirement stipulated in our DS-2019 and our visa. So, the Form I-130 has specific steps. You can file it online or you can do it paper filing. In our case, we do it online and we have submitted the money order plus the form that we submitted which is the Form I-130 that is printed and with the signature of my husband that is mailed to the USPS together with the money order. Make sure you have the right yellow envelope to put that one and put the right amount, the right name on the money order that way it will not be returned to you or else your time will be wasted so be careful with that one and at the same time you have to sit down with your spouse look at the computer and make sure that you are confident with your evidences like your marriage license you have to make or scan your marriage license your pictures together during your marriage if you got married in a church just like us you can do that or if you got married in a courthouse just take pictures and you can have that scanned or just submit that one electronically then you could also have like letters or plane tickets that you have had together and that is part of your evidences or if your husband gives you the last will and testament that he has that is also a good addition to your evidences with the form I-130. The same thing with your form I-485, you have to make sure that the form you're submitting is current. If you would like to file it online, that will also be a good thing because you could lower your payment. But in our case, 
we did it through paper filing. The reason for that is I am in the process of submitting my papers to get my J-1 waiver, which means it is crucial for me to buy time. So it is going to be longer process, I believe, based on my experience, to file it through I-485 paper filing and it works for us. So think of the timeline, think of the thing that is most precious to you, which is two years to process the papers. The form I-485 has also medical support, which is through the form I-693. You can find the surgeon that is recommended by the USCIS. Just go to their website, uscis.gov, type form I-693, and they're gonna show you the list of surgeon that you can go based on your zip code. So that's gonna be the process that you can do. Make sure that you use the most current form. That way they will not return your papers. Waste of time, waste of energy, or even you waste your money going back and forth to file your papers, especially if you do it paper filing. Now, when it comes to J-1 visa, I have a lot of videos that is pertaining to that one. I hope that you will join us with this journey. That way you know what are the other steps. Now I have a website, powerfulcoupljourney.com, where we show you our do-it-yourself immigration process, especially if you are a teacher with 212 e rule home residency requirement, where you can find our form I-485 cover letters, letters from friends and family, psychological evaluation, letter from medical doctors, letter from our church pastor. That is a template you can use and base that one for your own needs. My case is unique, your case is different as well, but come to think of it, this will also help you when it comes to bringing your story into place. When I did this in the year 2021, I don't see a lot of good information online, but what I did was I did all my research with my husband. We strategized together, not just to file the Form I-130 concurrent with the Form I-485, but we make sure that all the forms that are needed are submitted properly. I am so thankful that without the help of an immigration lawyer, I got my waiver through the Department of State favorable recommendation and waiver with my Form I-612 through the USCIS last August 2023 and I got my green card in November 2023. So it's going to be a long process starting in the year 2021 to year 2023 but if you know how to strategize i know you'll get it if you wanted to have a one-on-one -on -one session with us where we can share you our ideas we are not immigration lawyers but this is our true to life story that we are sharing to you please don't forget to go to powerful couple journey where we could have a zoom meeting and we are going to share our ideas and this is going to be a lifelong and meaningful journey for you and your spouse. Thank you so much for being here. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe to our YouTube channel, Powerful Couple Journey, for more immigration processes, especially with marriage-based green card and J-1 waiver. Thank you and you have a great day. See you in my next video.